Hey neighbor, it's Ryan from Hippie Witch Heart. Welcome back to another day of Vlogmas. If this is your first Vlogmas, make sure to check out any of the other videos that I've posted so far this year. I'm doing Yarnmas and Drinkmas, so I'm unboxing a different beverage every day, and then I'm unboxing a different hand-dyed yarn every day, so let's get into it. This video will be a little different. I've had a lot of people ask for this, and I'm going to be doing a little giveaway announcement. Make sure you stick around to the end of the video to see what the giveaway is going to be. First things first, we're going to start it off like we always do. I have my advent calendar. I have my bottle here. Let's see what today's flavor is. Hey, where is it? Can I have six? Found it. Cold water, flavor droplet. Put that in there. We're gonna give it a few minutes to do what it does so that we can drink it. It says it's the blueberry one and blueberry is a white tea and blueberry. It is flavored with other natural flavors, sugar-free, low calorie, vitamin C, and niacin. Still don't know. I should probably just Google that. Niacin compounds treat high cholesterol and triglyceride levels as well as niacin deficiency, it can also reduce the risk of heart attack and slow narrowing of the arteries. It says it's a B vitamin. As a reminder, this is a brew crew thing. We do brew crew in every single video we have. If you would like to support the brew crew, our Kofi link is in the bottom. Get us a brew. We might shut you out. While we're waiting for that, this is the Big Boy Advent Calendar, and these are both still available on the website if you want to have fun with this too. Oh, it opens on the other side. A six. That makes noise. What the hell is this? Metal beads and what is this? Water drop, I'm confused. Cleaning beads for bottle and collection bag? What? Okay, I found it? Cleaning beads are small, durable, metallic beads that loosen stains inside your bottle. Simply pour them into your bottle, add warm water, and swirl. The gentle friction from the beads acts like a scrubbing pad, which subsequently removes stains, germs, and harboring particles. The cleaning beads have been designed using mild stainless steel, delicate enough not to scratch, strong enough to clean. I've never seen this before. Pass off Germany, I guess. It's such a weird thing to get today. Place your bets in the comments how long it takes me to lose these. Just, just saying. Has anyone used anything like these before? Tell me. I need to know. Have any of you used this? Is this a thing that's just normal outside of America that I don't know about? Anyway, while that's happening, this is the last yarn package I have that has come in. I'm still waiting on yarn from, I want to say two more people? Yeah, and neither of those have shipped yet, and it's stressing me out. This is from Craftedly Made, yeah, Craftedly Dyed Yarn. This one comes out of Colorado Springs. Nice. So there are two packages of yarn in here. I'm going to do one, and then we'll do the other one tomorrow. In our tomorrow? Yeah, in our next video. So the dyer's name is Lauren, and when I ordered it, Lauren said, thank you for shopping at Craftily Dyed Yarn on Etsy. You can find our complete inventory on our website, Craftily Dyed Yarn. It's linked. I got a lot from this shop. So this Etsy shop I actually got the most of, and this is the first thing. It's called the Rainbow Splash, because apparently lots of rainbow was happening. Um, this is what it looks like in the photos, and this is what it looks like in the bag. The colors are great. It has a cute little sticker on it. It's classic sock. 75% superwash merino, 25% nylon, 231 yards per 50 gram skein. Um, I think this one came in different weights too, and I just got the bigger one. So the options are 10, 20, and 50. I bought the 50 just because I wanted more to play with. And this is going to be, what, like a thousand yards? Six to like 1200 something yards? Math. These are a like, cre it looks, in the photo, it looks more white. Um, it's definitely more like creamy-ish, and it kind of varies depending on which color and based on how it's dipped. So this is the purple. It's just like literally a rainbow slash of color on the bottom. These are really nice. They're nice and um, springy, squishy, super soft. They also don't feel as um, fuzzy as some of the other ones did. Like this is nice and smooth. You know how wool sometimes has that texture to it? This doesn't. This is just like a really nice, I'm, I'm, I think this one's gonna be a lot of fun to make something out of and wear. The blue is really bright. Like look at the difference between these. Their pigments don't look like they're the same, um, hue, tone. 
I don't know what the word I'm looking for is, but this purple is a darker purple than this blue. I feel like if these were similar in the, the darkness or the depth of color, that'd be nice, but I'm not angry at it. But the blue is definitely the brightest of any of them. Cause like, look how light that one is. And then look at the green, which is like a huntery foresty green. And that's like an uh, eastery blue. Still not mad, I think they're, they're beautiful. And it, I like how it kind of trails all the way up. So you've got just these splotches of color and the green goes all the way up to here in the color, like just the dips. I like this because this is like a sunflower yellow. This isn't um, like bright, bright. This is like old school Winnie the Pooh yellow, which I really like. There were a lot of yellows and other things that I bought or, or saw that were just too bright for me. Um, they, were, they were too like sunlight, like Teletubby sunlight, and I didn't care for that. That I like this more rich. Um, God, what is the word I'm looking for? This is an orange that I really like too, because it's like a gold, um, again, autumnal color. This is a nice rainbow, because normally when you see rainbows, they're super pigmented and super just like 100% sat saturation. We got there. These are saturated differently, so it's like there's the full color in there, but it's not just so much orange that it's uncomfortable. They're lovely blends between, and it's just like a touch, just a pop of the color. This is a deep, dark red instead of like fire truck red. This fades into a really nice pink down here, but it's still going to have enough red in it that doesn't feel almost like childlike. It's true to the color, which I really enjoy. This one, I will say, I think is really, really cool just because the way this is dyed, like when you undo, do I want to undo a hank? When you undo the hank and kind of pull it apart, it's just in the middle. So that's going to look really, really cool when you go to dye it because it's just going to be little speckles of it or it'll have like a, a wave. Um, if you're unfamiliar with hand dyed yarns, you'll see what I mean as I start making things and showing them. But a lot of projects don't work up in the same way that you think they would from this. Like this isn't gonna work up in just like red, white, red, white. It's not gonna be like a candy cane up. It's gonna be really pretty colors um, and have just like a patch of where the color is, which depending on what you make with it is cool. There's some makers that do dyes where it's like a black hat and the way the color lines up, it's like a stripe that comes up the hat. Um, I don't think I'm gonna do that because I don't really make a lot of hats. I have too much hair <laughs> to wear those comfortably, but scarves and things I really like and they'll, they'll have just like the pop of color going down. So I don't know what I'm gonna make with this. This is gonna be a really pretty project and it's a really nice amount of yarn. Like 1200-ish yards is enough to make a really cute scarf or wrap or something. Or like a crop top, actually, because I did make a crop top once. It was like, I made it with one and a half, so like 900 yards, and I made a crop top that was really cute to wear, so this might be a garment. I don't know, I'm a big bitch, so I'm 6'4". Like, she's chunky. Put her in a scarf. Thank you, Craftedly Yarns, for part one of this. This was, Lauren, this was really good. These are really soft. I would recommend this. Um, I really enjoyed a lot of what she had on her shop. I would highly suggest if you are a bright color or like fun color person, this is something you would check out. And the quality of these yarns is really, really nice. 10 out of 10. Let's taste our drink. Is this the blueberry tea or is this just the regular tea? We'll find out. I may have said the wrong one. I thought it was the blueberry because the package was blue. Yeah, that's blueberry. So this is a blueberry tea. It's very light, but it just tastes like the water. So good. This is also one of my favorites just because it has the light aftertaste. It doesn't really smell weird. It's just slightly fruity and really, really easy to drink. Also, I'm clearly a fan. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's really good. I think the iced teas are probably my favorite set of flavors so far. I've really enjoyed everything that they've had from them. So if you're looking for what flavors to get, I would go with that. Because so far we've had from iced tea, today was blueberry. So it's white tea, blueberry. Then there's the iced tea with lemon, which is green tea and lemon. And we haven't had the peach one, I don't think peach yet that and that one is black tea with peach and that one's also really good but the teas you can't go wrong with them they're just just enough and i'm 
grew up in the South, but I'm not somebody who likes the super sweet tea. I like to water it just a little bit so it's got the sweet flavor but not overpowering. These, these do it for me. Thanks for coming and watching this vlog with me today. I really appreciate it. If you haven't seen or subscribed already, please like, share, and subscribe. We are trying to get to a thousand subscribers before the end of December. We're having really steady growth. We're at this number of subscribers right now as of the time that I'm editing this. So thank you so much for being here. And there's a little incentive to get more people here. A lot of people have said that they really like the addition glass and they want a kit. So if we hit a thousand subscribers before December 31st this year, I will be giving someone this bottle. Not this particular one, but you will be getting a bottle kit from me. Um, we'll see how it goes. This is only if we hit the 1,000 subscribers. So as we go on, I will give more details on how to do that, but it will be to one of the subscribers, the subscribers that I have on here. Right now, this is gonna be open to Canada and US, and then as we hit future goals of other milestones in my YouTube journey, I will obviously be giving more away because this is a company that I'm probably going to support for a long time. Water Drop sponsored me. <laughs> like, I'm doing it every day on Vlogmas here, girl. Shout out. Give me something. That being said, thank you so much for being here, for supporting our channel, uh, watching me unbox all these beautiful yarns and commenting. I love engaging with you guys, and I will see you in our next Vlogmas video. Bye!